Heidi, I'm back from my trip to Dollywood and Carowinds, and I couldn't be more happy. That is one of the best trips I've ever had. Um, so just wanted to say a huge thank you because it's because of you guys that I got to go on such an amazing trip. Um, all the content will be coming out slowly over the next couple of weeks. Um, again, I want to make sure I do Dollywood justice. So we got some really awesome treatment and uh, just some awesome Southern hospitality. But let's talk about Copperhead Strike. So all of you already know the midway and the theming for Copperhead Strike is beyond impressive. Um, I want to add a little bit of my description to it. I think a lot of people haven't been discussing how dark it is compared to what I thought it was going to be. So when I heard Granny Smith and her jam and moonshine and something, you know, you just went into her shed and broke in. I wasn't expecting like guts in the the cue line. So if you looked closely, it looked like there were like a bit of like gore here and there. It ended up being a bit of a darker storyline than I was expecting. You break into the shed um, and Granny catches you and you bump into what looks like a chicken coop or something and you get their attention and they chase after you with chainsaws and you launch out of the shed. Um, so the theming and storyline is definitely impressive. A little more dark than I thought, but again, still impressive. The cue line is absolutely stunning. Um, it is immersive from start to finish. There's lots of details. And uh, boy, did uh, any of you wait in that extended queue line they built? Because I remember I was in the extended queue line. I didn't know um, much about this coaster. Again, I'm from Canada. So I was like, did they not finish their queue line in time? I was like, what's going on? And then we got to the test seat. And I was like, oh, my God, there's a whole another queue line to go. Um, so the next day we got fast lane to enjoy the day. Uh, but that being said, um, this coaster is so impressive. It is a launch coaster. Um, if you're riding it for the launch, don't overhype the launch. It is a weaker launch compared to other coasters, but this coaster is not meant to be a launch coaster. It's not meant to impress you with the launch. And I was one of those people that was really looking forward to the launch and thought that this coaster wasn't going to be that impressive due to the launch speeds. And boy, was I wrong. When I rode this, the hang time in that JoJo roll was insane. I remember I was slipping out of my seat and I was freaking out because of the, uh, the hang time in it. You really think you're going to fall out. The restraints on this coaster are absolutely phenomenal. Um, they're super comfortable, super accommodating, especially for larger guests. Um, again, the seats are comfortable as well as the restraint. Everything about it is so impressive. And the hang time is insane. And if you haven't gotten a night ride on Copperhead Strike, you must. Um, it is insane. We rode at night. We rode at day. My favorite is definitely night. Um, night rides at this park is definitely uh, a huge plus. You want to go to Carowinds and go at night. Uh, I call this park kind of like the nighttime ride park. Um, but uh, again, this is one of my new favorite coasters. I've ridden Maverick, and I have to say, at the current moment, I do enjoy Copperhead Strike over Maverick. That could be because I've been going on Maverick for almost every year since it came out. So it could just be like, this is new, this is better, this is shiny, like at the moment. Um, and that might be why I enjoy it more than Maverick. But again, at the current moment, I do enjoy this more than Maverick. Um, I was really blown away. Hang time is a newer element for me. I had never experienced it before. Again, being from Canada's Wonderland um, and uh, not having that big of a credit um, coaster credit count. So this is definitely new. And I have to say hang time for me was underrated. I did not give hang time the justice or the attention it deserved. And this coaster definitely blew me away. And uh, I think a lot of you uh, need to go into this coaster with open arms. Don't judge it for its launch. Again, the launch is slower, but it's slower for a reason. This coaster is meant to have a lot of hang time, not a lot of speed. But that being said, it has a lot of speed. So outside of the launch, when this thing is keeping it low to the ground, you're going fast. And the part where they take your picture couldn't have been more perfect. They take your picture at the most perfect moment. It's almost like a little dip turn. And it's really tight. And if you haven't been on it before, you're uh, it's you're going to be like kind of shook it. And the picture captures that perfectly. Um, I have one of the photos where I think it's my first ride and my face says it all. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to give this coaster the attention it deserves. It's an amazing addition. Carolyn's did very impressive. I'm super excited. I really hope we see more of these at parks in the Cedar Fair chain. I definitely want one at Canada's Wonderland. Um, but I also just want to add the guest reaction was very impressive. 
So I was paying attention to how the general public was reacting because when you get a new coaster, that's what you want to pay attention to as an enthusiast. And boy, were people loving this. You could hear them screaming. You could hear them cheering. Everyone was having an amazing time. I heard GP talking about giving this coaster the attention it deserved um, in the queue line before boarding. So it was just super awesome to hear that rea uh, reaction all around. And I'm super happy Carowinds uh, knocked this one out of the park. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on Copperhead Strike. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you had a great opening weekend at Carowinds. Bye.